all right welcome back sunday igboho popular nigerian pastors give reason why kotono government will not release yoruba activists to nigeria all right my people the news in details Onto this, the senior pastor of awaiting the second coming of Christ ministry, Adewale Giwa, has suggested that Benin Republic authorities may not release Sunday Igboho to Nigeria to avoid tarnishing their own image. Report has it that Sunday Igboho Yoruba Nation Freedom Fighter was arrested in Kutano on Monday night. In Fox exclusive learned that he was on his way to Germany when he was apprehended. Following this development, Pastor Giwa, in a statement made available to newsmen, said that supporters of the popular activists have no cause to worry because the Lord will rise and disgrace those who want Sunday Igboho dead or incarcerated with a view to allowing their Fulani kingsmen take over the country. You came to somebody's house without a prior notice, destroyed his property, killed his people, and arrested others, yet you are still running after him just because he is fighting against the Fulani killers who continue to murder and molest our people. Do not rob the poor because he is poor or crush the afflicted at the gate for the Lord will plead their case and take the life of those who rob them. The Lord who stood with Ehud, Onel, Gideon and then other freedom fighters in the scripture will stand by Sunday Adeyemo and defeat those running after his life. I am sure those in Kutano following the development in Nigeria and they might not want to do anything that can rubbish their image. All right, and then that has been it. All right, and then meanwhile, it has been gathered that uh, the Yoruba activist popularly known as Sunday Igboho. Meanwhile, it has been gathered that the activist surrendered himself and was not captured by the security operatives. City News records Igboho had been arrested on Monday night in Kotonu. Our sources noted that he was heading for Germany. He was, however, nabbed by security operatives in the neighboring country. Reacting to his arrest Tuesday morning, Ola Jengbesi said, Truly, he was arrested and I have confirmed that we are making efforts to ensure that he is fine. You know the Department of State Services declared him wanted. We just believe that Sunday Boho is not the problem. He is someone who believed that the Yoruba people and Nigerians generally should live in peace wherever they are. As a matter of fact, let me tell you now that Sunday Boho was arrested simply because he wanted to make himself available to the government. If not, Sunday Boho is not someone who can be arrested that way, but because he believes that the, the journey to justice for the Yoruba people and for the Nigerian state to be able to live in peace may be needed for him to be available, that was why. A source privy to the incident had said Sunday Buo has been arrested in Kutonu. He was arrested about an hour ago. He was supposed to travel to Germany through Kutonu. This night, he wanted to leave Africa through Kutonu. He was arrested by security operatives in Kutonu. They are planning to bring him back to Nigeria. According to City News, Nigeria records that the Department of State Services has declared Igboho wanted after its operatives carried out a bloody midnight raid on its residence in the Soka area of Ibadan, or your state. Onto this, it has been gathered that what Sunday Boho did before he was arrested will shock everyone. All right, and then as it is, the lawyer have reacted onto this, where majority of people have actually reacted also onto this. All right, according to CX Wills, he said, well, federal government, federal republic of cows, for how long government can get 
whoever they want. Just beat me why it's men Fulani extremists Boko Haram are not traceable. But one man you sent the old DSS squad. Army ETC. Now wow. Hmm. Help me tell them. <coughs> That's another one. Boko Haram disturbing the entire country. Nobody went for them. But for one man, you sent almost about 1,000 policemen to catch up with him. And then, you no, know, the worst scenario has not been that. This same man you captured, he is a freedom fighter. He never committed any offense. It's only the good Lord that we judge all these our leaders most especially the you no know, the presidency according to what they called themselves all right now this had been said by charity and in day all right according to frank ojiaka say well my take is that the arrest of sunday boho won't still solve our problem if truly our security apparatus is efficient as in the cases of both Mazanam the Kanu and Igboho, the dreaded Boko Haram and uh, the bandits ravaging every part of the north would have been a thing of the past. Our government is simply put government of the north for the north and um, for the north. But one day, guys, will reap what you have done. All right, and this has been said by Frank Ojiaka. Okay, and then it is also said by Godwin Anonye that what is his crime? When has it become a crime to demand for justice, equity, and fair play for your people? Hmm, this is a serious one. Very, very soon, the government of Nigeria will see the shame they caused for themselves. All right, this is. Had been said by Messi Nkechi. All right, meanwhile, Olukayo de Oyedi on this as well. All our arrangements wait for next episode. Act one sin one, we get sin too soon. All right, my people, a lot of things had actually been said earlier hmm, on to this matter. Well, what more can we say? We have seen it all, but the fact remains that. The Yorubas will not relent and they will not be quiet about this. And that is it. The elders are out right now to make sure Chief Sunday Igboho does not get humiliated. And that's exactly what we are talking about. Well, I think it's so unfortunate that you know, we are experiencing this in a country like this. You can imagine, you will be in your country, you will not have rest of mind. What kind of a country is that? You are in your country, you cannot even think of, oh, let me try and put some things together. Because you'll be thinking that, hey, with time, these people might come to destroy any investment. And uh, it's so bad to that extent, majority of people are even scared of coming back to the country. Hmm, too bad too bad well my people a lot of things had been said so far onto this what more can we say meanwhile let me have your take on this and remember to subscribe for more updates thanks and god bless